Hi everyone. <laughs> I have done this voiceover so many times, but here we are. This is my planner glow up. This is the week I am glowing up. I had found a kit that resembles um, the clip art, or it was the same clip art, just, you know, um, designed in a different way. Um, and I was super excited to see that and, you know, kind of see my growth in my sticker collection and all that fun stuff. And I thought this was so much fun and I really love the turnout. So in this video, I also wanted to give some like pointers or tips that I did when I first started off. Obviously, there's no right and wrong way. I just wanted to, you know, share my, um, like some of the things that I did and learned as I started to do this decorative planning and how much, um, how I figured everything out, at least for my personal um, liking, I guess you can say. So when I first started planning, it was last year of 2019, September, actually I think July, um, but I fully started like going in deco and doing like memory spreads um, in probably February or March of this year. So that all of it is pretty new to me, but I really love that idea a lot more because I really love to go back and remember the things I have done and all that. I don't know. I just do like it. And I do put some, like if I'm having a bad day, I will put that in my planner too. It's just because it's kind of like a tracker for me. So yeah, besides the point, um, I am now a memory spreader, <laughs> I guess what you would call it. Um, I just like to use sticker kits that I either, you know, correlate to the week um, and just put down stickers um, of some highlights of my day. So yeah, um, this kit is from Mary Me Bell. I found it in a D stash and I loved it. And yeah, so with this kit, I actually, I guess the deconstructed it a lot and only took out the pieces that I really wanted to use. In the original kit there was a lot of black included and um, there was a whole washi strip that was like black with black lines and I didn't want to bring in black. I wanted it to be lighter. So that's what I did. Um, I brought in my these headers and the headers are from a Simply Gilded uh, washi they're from a subscription box, but I feel like you can buy them in the shop. Um, she always has perforated headers, um, but these are one of my favorites. They're kind of a lighter gold, I think. Yeah, they're definitely a lighter gold, but they definitely don't stand out with true gold. Um, and I really love that to washi roll because I can bring in and foil any spread because of them. And so that's another tip I learned along the way that I have learned to love the washi strip, the perforated, perforated ones, because you can also use it, that bottom one that I'm placing now, that's also a perforated, perforated header washi. I just didn't cut it up and it looks perfect. I just love that scallop look as a washi strip and I was able to use the whole washi strip that I'm placing in now that I love. I love the farmhouse look. It's just one of the looks that we're actually doing in our home with my mom and I because I still live with my parents. Um, but it's out of choice. Not that anyone cares, but it's just one of those things that my mom and I um, decided to kind of meet in the middle because <laughs> she's very traditional, um, like a traditional Hispanic. She loves like warmer color, warmer colors and all that fun stuff. But I love... Um, grays and that farmhouse look and our house is an older look older house so we can cut we can really get away with the farmhouse and it kind of be true of character if that makes sense so I absolutely adore the farmhouse anything farmhouse I have I love um so this kit that's why I love it so much because of the of the art and the clip art um it's just one of my favorites and it just kind of makes me feel homey honestly and there's a whole box, the one I'm placing now, that says, um, I forget what it says, but I think it's like, your home or something like that. And we actually have a pillow like that. <laughs> so this clip art is just, it has like a special part in my heart because it's just correlates a lot to how I feel what a home should be. 
Um, so yeah. Anyways, I went on a tangent like I always do. Um, so yeah, that bottom washi um, is also from Simply Gilded. It came from a box, but I know you can buy those. I actually bought them in more foil colors recently. So check it out if that's something. I think I feel like it's a great staple for my um, collection. If you ever have a kit and there's a washi strip you don't want to use, bring those in, you know. It's just, that's the beauty of this um, community. You don't have to do you know what everyone is doing or what exactly the kit has you can always bring in some staples in your collection um which goes into my second point um if you're growing your washi collection i know it can get very like i was very like overwhelmed i'm like i need them all all all, all. and i would look on these stashes and want to buy just like huge number of rolls but as I started getting the subscriptions in, I started realizing like there was a lot of washies that I knew I was not going to use. Like those really colorful ones. Me personally, this is not for everybody, but um, me personally, I was not going to use a lot of color. So I kept a lot of the neutral, a lot of just the true foil colors and de-stashed the rest. And so that's how I learned that what kind of washi that I gravitate towards most is the washi that I'm going to use. Um... So that's just another pointer if you're in that funk where you're like, I need all the washi like I was. Um, you don't. <laughs> Unless you want to, of course. But um, yeah. Okay. Another point is how I started. I did not start buying full-on kits when I first started. There's no way. <laughs> I, I mean, unless you really for sure know this is going to be a life hobby, but I didn't know. I didn't know if it was just going to be another, you know, momentarily um, obsession. <laughs> and I was going to be over it in like four weeks. Or I can't, it's been over a year already. Um, and I'm still going strong. And it doesn't go away. It just still gets exciting. And these shops just make amazing, creative, beautiful things that it's so hard to like not you know keep getting excited for it so I started buying mini kits uh, mini kits don't usually have the washi so that's where I started to be I started becoming obsessed with oh I need all the washi because I need them for all my mini kits but as time went on I started realizing well maybe I should get the full kits because of the washi you know I don't want to buy every single washi out there and then not have room for it first of all and and then only use it once you know what I'm saying so I started buying full kits which the only reason I justified it <laughs> because I started buying full kits because I felt like I kept buying extras for my mini kits and it ended up like costing the same as just buying a full kit um, so that's how I started buying <laughs> full kits. Um, maybe one day if anyone's interested, I can show like a full flip through of my first planner, which was an Erin Condren. Um, I now use a uh, Crest Press inserts on, in my Aura still. That's just how I've been liking it. Actually, I kind of like being able to pull out the inserts and plan on them this way. Um, so yeah, that's how I ended up buying full kits and justifying that price because some of them as you know if you're coming into the community or you are part of the community some kits can get very pricey but you know it's like you 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 pay for what you what you what is it you get what you pay for you know if you buy like um when I first started like I would buy like four dollar mini kits and they would be four dollar mini kits you know shade at all any shops but Obviously, you're not going to charge $4 for something that is premium matte paper that's going to probably cost you $4 or more. You're not going to make any profit. So um, you have to put that in consideration too. You know, these shops, this is their job and this is their, um, their you know, how to get their grocery money sometimes. And I, this is why I also love supporting these businesses because they're all small businesses and it makes me feel good that I, my money is going to not just like a corporate you know I just it makes me feel better that it's going to somebody another family who you know I don't know I just I, I enjoy that I'm supporting smaller businesses doing this hobby too 
Um, so yeah, another tangent. <laughs> um, I buy full kits now. That was it. <laughs> That's all I was trying to say. Uh, another thing I do do as well is I don't always have to buy foil kits. That's just a preference I have had since I first started planning. I love non-foil kits and sometimes they're a few dollars cheaper because you don't they, they, they don't have to foil it and I bring in my own foil um so that's what I did in this kit actually and that's why I thought this kit was perfect because it kind of shared a lot of the things that I do now and the things that I learned in one spread um and my favorite things so adding foiled basic elements like Adding in date covers that have foil. Those date covers are just simple white with um, foiling dates. I mean, date name. What do you call them? Days of the week <laughs> um, from Rose Color Days. And those are staples in my collection as well. I have them in um, all the foil colors. Just in case there's a kit that I do want to foil. Um, but I don't foil every non-foil kit. Um, if it's non-foiled and I want to do a non-foiled kit, then... I do that. <laughs> that gets me into another point. A lot of my icons are non-foiled for that exact reason. I like to add in um, little like elements, um, foiled elements, and I got that idea from Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan. I'm actually sorry for Rachel, but she um, always mentioned it was from Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan. Um, so that's where I got that idea and always look for new shapes or new, um, little elements to foil non-foiled icons. Um, so yeah, that's another point. Um, I just, I prefer non-foiled to be honest because then I can use the same icon for any spread and then just bring in some, um, foiling pizzazz <laughs> into my into my weekly spreads okay another thing i did i always bought um non-foiled scripts i just prefer non-foiled most of the time because it's just easier for the words to pop out in my opinion and it's a little bit cheaper too <laughs> uh, saving a few you know cents it can make a difference especially in a hobby like this and i absolutely usually I just get um non-foiled scripts and so I brought that in um that work script is non-foiled and then the day off is also non-foiled I that's just what I prefer um I do have like the holiday main holidays from rose color days and those are foiled because I feel like huge moments um or some of my favorite things like watching Grey's Anatomy I do foil those moments because I, I mean, I have those scripts in foiled colors because, um, I just, I wanted to make, I want to make it look pretty. Um, so yeah, that's the only ones that I have foiled, but other words, um, or even like little sayings, I usually always gravitate to just getting the non-foiled option. And that way you have, you know, you can use them in every single spread as well. Okay. Um, let's see, another point, um, figuring out how to do your, um, like placing your stickers. Um, I feel like that's just goes through experience or actually playing with the stickers. Um, I lost track what I was saying. Um, so that's another thing that I, um, noticed as I was planning, um, I just either put them all in the middle, all in the top, um, and I just figured out what symmetry my eyes like. So that's how I ended up learning my box arrangements. I also really love double boxes. So um, in the weekends, I always put a double box. Even if the kid doesn't have a double box, I will make a double box. Um, it's just one of the things that I really love to do and kind of make like a weekend banner situation just with the full boxes so um i like to get creative in that sense and layer more things to the weekend banner um it's just it that's have that has been like my highlight of my spreads i just love to be more creative with my weekend um 
my weekend label, <laughs> I guess, and I just love to do it in that way. Um, okay, let's see. Next thing um, are the um, additional, how I decided what additional things I wanted in my collection. Um, by that I mean like shapes, different shapes or what different types of boxes. So I show that here. Um, the hexagons are one of my favorite shapes. <laughs> um, I blame Planning Kalo and um, it's just one of my favorite ways to mark work. It, that's just how it was when I first started planning and if a kit doesn't have additional pieces so I can layer work, um, I bring in my hexagons and they're usually in neutral colorway so I can use them in most spreads and I added in this case I added some foiling with the letters from lay um, little sparklies I think that's what I call them <laughs> um, now boxes under Thursday and Friday there are two different types of boxes that I really love to have in my collection um, and they're both non foiled so you can use them throughout my favorite boxes are from um, simply watercolor co um, she does have foiled ones and non-foiled ones. Now, the one under Thursday, that's actually a sampler. That's another point. Use up those samplers. Um, I love using samplers. I absolutely love freebies and samplers and all that. Um, so that's actually from a freebie. And it, the brown, it's actually like um, a Louis Vuitton replica, I guess, um pattern and but it the brown just worked perfectly with this kit so i brought it in and then the swatches are from piper paper company under friday those are also um one of my favorites to bring in to spreads just to give it a little bit more um i guess character i just love how it looks it kind of just blends in and if there's too much going on or too many boxes already in the spread I love to bring those in and um, use them and I just love how it looks me personally I just love how those like paint swatches look um, under Thursday there's also another freebie included I think it's from saucy stickers um, that scallop half circle I love to use those too if there's a kit that are not that is not foiled you can bring in some foiled boxes or foiled um, half circles um, just so it can bring in some more foiling and make sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Now another thing that I really decided on was how I decided to find dividers and all that fun stuff. I actually really love just basic, simple, dainty dividers. Um, and probably my favorite ones are from Jackson Pepper and those Rose Color Day bow ones. They're just the ones I usually go back and forth to because they are just perfect in my opinion. And I usually just use them literally as a divider. Like <laughs> what they were made for, I just use them simply and sometimes I layer with them. But normally I um, keep it as a divider just to fill in space. Um, under Sunday, I did the same thing. I got a half circle scallop and that's foiled just to bring in more foiling to tie in the whole um the whole spread and those lace dividers from honey inked are my absolute favorite i love them i don't know why i didn't have it in them in every um foil color but now i do they should be getting to me soon <laughs> and i love to layer them layer those with i just love coming up with something and including those they are just so beautiful in my opinion i love them um so yeah okay and then the two my favorite two dollar tuesdays are from crafts by tally and the planning world spoiled icons are amazing they are life-changing <laughs> like they're a planner life-changing they are so gorgeous um but yeah so that is it for my planner glow video and some tips and tricks that i learned along the way um um and how i now handle my deco my deco collection i just like to keep staples and things that i can use for many kits um and not just for one specific what do you call it only one specific time or one specific kit um something i can use all the time so this is the final um 
shot of my spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this super delayed um, planner glow up, glow up and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.